Sarah. My car match code is MLPC5. Today I test drove the Chevy Spark. Um, there's a lot of things that I liked about the car. There's a lot of things that I didn't. Yeah, the steering's really easy. There's just so much window space. Yeah. Yeah, I think it drives really well. I have no complaints there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess like the feeling the bumps on the road, like every little like little rubber notch that we're going over right now. Yeah, that's what I meant. The suspension almost felt you know, a little stiff in the sense that you feel everything. First thing, I thought that it was very compact, which is a great thing if you are living in an, like an urban area or city area. But you don't even care because your car is so tiny that you can just fit in anywhere. Yeah. Yep. Or like that tiny little parallel parking spot that nobody would be able to fit in, you could. Yeah. Because this thing is like the size of a pinky. <laughs> <laughs> um, the sound in the inside for uh, the radio was also awesome. The audio quality seems pretty good though. Yeah. I was trying to look at the speakers in the back. Yeah, it sounds really good. It has XM radio in there, there's Bluetooth, um, You, it says that you can do movies as well, but we didn't test that uh, function. The spacing in the front seat, the, the roominess, I thought was really great. Well, it's kind of roomy in here now that I've pushed it back. Yeah. But even so, it's kind of like yeah, very... Yeah, kind of elbow to elbow. But I mean, I guess they kind of have to make it smaller so that it yeah. has better mileage but at the same time I feel like there's bigger cars than this that get better mileage you know yeah like my Honda has a lot more room inside and it gets about the same mileage yeah, as the car does say. so it's not like that impressive um the back seat what didn't have a lot of the roominess that I would like so the back seat's not so comfy either no not too comfy you wouldn't be able to take a nap well, I guess you can't really even stretch out in here, can you? Yeah, you can't. And I don't feel like I'm that big, and I'm like, I guess I could slide over, but if you were, if they were larger people, it would be very snug. So I think for two people, great. I think for four people, not so much. Um, there's not a lot of trunk space, but which is a problem for me because I like hauling a lot of things. However, the back seats do fold down, and because it kind of has like a little, like a hatchback, um, you can make a lot of space in the back of the car for if you're going on a trip. To pull those down and it would be a massive amount of storage. I think this car is perfect for two people that want to go on a road trip somewhere. Going up to Traverse City or something. Throwing those two seats down and packing your stuff in for the weekend. Super easy. Yeah. Really affordable. Mm -hmm. Probably only fill up like you know one time. But I think the style is really good. Not personally something that I would look for in, in a car. I just feel like it's style over actual like function. It's a little too futuristic for me. But um, if somebody's looking for a car that has that futuristic new wave kind of style to it, I think it's it's a very well designed car.